honoring two fallen soldiers, one from the Iraq War and the other from the World War II, the US Army has named its first new combat vehicle in almost 40 years, the M10 Booker. The Army's new M10, now formally known as the Mobile Protected Firepower Vehicle, will be supplied by General Dynamics Land Systems, who won the competition in June 2022, with the first delivery of the vehicle scheduled for November this year. By relying on the past GDLS programs to mitigate potential risks, the system boasts a new chassis design. The turret, constructed with atypical materials, is predominantly new. However, it maintains the familiar interior aesthetic and controls like an Abrams main battle tank. Initially, GDLS is set to provide 26 vehicles, with the option for the Army to procure an additional 70 during the low-rate initial production period at a total cost of $1.14 billion. In the fourth quarter of the fiscal year 2025, the Army has plans to establish a new battalion to house the first M10 unit, consisting of 42 vehicles. The Army intends to commence full-rate production in the year 2025. Before the vehicle is officially deployed, the Army plans to conduct initial operational tests in early 2025 or late 2024. During the procurement phase, the Army is projected to allocate roughly $6 billion towards acquiring mobile protected firepower vehicles, encompassing all prior investments made towards research, development, and prototyping endeavors. The complete program expense, including military construction, staff, and maintenance costs, is approximately $17 billion throughout its life cycle. The Army intends to purchase 504 vehicles, which they project will remain in their inventory for at least three decades. Most of the procurement should be completed by 2035.